and those of the people of Ogunja. To the family, friends uh, of the late third president, uh, Mike Ibaki, and indeed, the people of Kenya. The speaker, the more I hear my colleagues speak with passion, uh, the, more I'm remind, the more I'm reminded by Mark Anthony in Julius Caesar, you know. Yeah. Those of us who are fans of Shakespeare <laughs> will tell you that the more things change, the more they actually remain the same. Mr. Speaker, let me say two things. That means the Honorable President Mike Kibaki was a man of his own class. And I can for sure remember him for two things, if only two things. One, as you know, Mr. Speaker, he was among the very few of his generation, the generation of post-independence Kenyan leaders who are known for nothing else but nationalism. The speaker, Mwai Kibaki, lived the spirit of nationalism till he died. Mwai Kibaki was known as a unifying figure. He was known as a person who was non-polarizing, a virtue that we really need in this country, Mr. Speaker. Mwai Kibaki was the kind of a statesman that you would need, you would need at any given moment in the life of a country. The speaker, secondly, is the legacy that Honorable Mike Kibaki has left behind. You know, Mr. Speaker, many a times leaders struggle to leave a positive legacy. What I've come to learn is that once you are a good leader, like Mwai Kibaki was, you don't have to struggle to leave a legacy. It just happens, naturally. It just flows, as I'm being told by Honorable Wamalwa. Because when you talk about Mwai Kibaki, what comes to mind? The super, th the thicker super highway. It just comes to mind naturally. What comes to mind? Free primary education, Mr. Speaker. And I'm happy the Honorable Uru Kenyatta followed in his footsteps. Because again, if you talk about Uru Kenyatta, you would, you would obviously think about the, the Nairobi Expressway and many other things. So we need, and, S, and SGR, so we need really as we, uh, we, we send off this, this great uh, Kenyan statement to look at ourselves, to, to think of where we are as a country and where we need to go, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I cannot end by saying that Mwai Kibaki did not work alone. Indeed, he was blessed to work with three vice presidents during his 10-year tenure. The Honorable late Mike, uh, Michael Wamalwa Kijana, the Honorable Moody Aori, and the Honorable Stephen Kalonzo Musioka. Those were his able, loyal vice presidents. And indeed, he was lucky to have had loyal vice presidents. Not like these days when you have a deputy president who has become a leader of opposition. So it is very, very interesting, <laughs> Speaker, as we, as, we, as we send off the Honorable uh, Mwai Kibaki, that we need to reflect upon ourselves as a, as a country that we need a situation that we find ourselves in currently, where a deputy president has become an opposition leader in his own government. That is something that never happened during Mwai Kibaki's tenure, Mr. Speaker. And therefore, without, with, with those very many words, Mr. Speaker, let me say uh, that I want to pray to Almighty God to continue blessing this